Right, so I'm on my way to Vault 108, and I think there's a town next to 108, and I think it's called Canterbury Commons or something. Yeah, so I'm going to be passing through the town before I get there. But yeah, I should get there by the end of the video. Yeah, so I've noticed there's normally like a town next to different vaults in Fallout 3. Like, for example, Vault 101. That's that's uh, next to a town called, uh, I think it's Springvale. I can't quite remember the name. It's just I haven't been there in a very long time. Yeah, and like Vault 92, which I've just been to, that's next to Old Olney, which is like another town. Yeah, Vault 106, which I haven't been to just yet. Yeah, that's next to a town. Um, I can't remember what the town's called, but it's the town with the hardware store and where I went down that, that like very long metro station. Yeah, where I found like a few mole rats and there was a guy named Ryan Briggs. I think his name was. Uh, yeah, and apparently he had like mole rats like trapped in cages or something. And one of them was called Pumpkin. So yeah, that's just a uh, detail about the metro station I was in. It's just difficult to remember all the names on here. Just there's so many locations. Oh dear, why, why am I not surprised? Yeah, uh, I don't think Vault 87 is near a town. But you know, that might... Uh, been like an experiment vault because that's apparently the birthplace of the super mutants. Yeah, um, wait, what other vaults are there? I'm, I'm just trying to think if there's any vaults I haven't mentioned. Oh, yeah, Vault 112. I don't think that's near like a town, but I do know it's near like. Like a mining place, I would say. Evergreen Mills. Well, I'm not really sure if that's a mine. I'd probably say it's like a... You know, like a train station or something. Not like a public train station. Like a place where freight trains can travel to. Yeah, well, obviously there'd be quite a few people working there, so if the bombs were to go off while they were at work, then, you know, that's probably where they would go. Yeah, it's a shame they didn't, like, build tunnels, like, so they could, like, connect the vaults together. Just, you know, you could have, like, some friend who lives quite a long way from you. And, you know, you won't be able to see him ever again. Or her. Yeah, but, you know, if they build tunnels, then, you know, they'd uh, get to, like, meet new people. The thing is, it would take a long time to build, and, you know, it, they'd have to risk it collapsing. And, you know, they wouldn't want that happening. Oh, there's a gang full of radars. Yeah, I'm going to kill them with a mini nuke. Yeah, that'll be a quick way to kill them. Right, I'm not sure if this is going to kill all of them, but it's going to be very high in damage. Yeah, over 1,600 damage. I'm not sure if that's the highest it can get it, but the condition isn't quite 100%. If I could get the condition to 100%, then, you know, it would probably be like near 2,000 damage. Oh, I think one of them survived. Yeah, I'm always wondering how many radars I've killed. Like, in this entire walkthrough. Right, if I had to guess, I'd probably say about... 300, probably. I think 400's a bit too high, but yeah, about 200 or 300. If you think of all the places I've been to with radars, you know, like the super duper market and like you know there's been some ra radars in like the 
train stations and like evergreen mills. So yeah, lots of places. But the thing is, I think they just keep like respawning. Oh yeah, and the elementary school. I haven't forgot about that. That was like one of the first places I'd been to in Fallout 3 after I left like the vault. Alright. Never get away with terrorizing this town. What's going on here? It's under the protection of the mechanist. Gonna be some sort of battle, I think. Right, I'll keep quiet for a bit. The citizens of this town have nothing to fear. The mechanist is here to protect them. With security operations. We'll see about that. Attack my ant soldiers. Destroy this fool and his tin toys. Go forth, my steadfast creation! Show the burden of humanity's true power! Right, I thought that was going to be like an act at first, but yeah, they're having a real battle. I don't know why the leaders aren't fighting each other. Hey, that is weird. In the acted like they didn't even notice me. Well, that robot um, seemed to have noticed me. Yeah, this, you know, like this part of the map, like the eastern part of the map, uh, kind of like reminds me of the first Fallout for some reason. It's probably the trailer because you see like a TV, like in a, like a room full of uh, rubble, and you know you can see like the orange sunset sky in the background and. Yeah, that's probably why it reminds me of that. So, like, the buildings are destroyed, but, like, you know, the floor is still, you know, alright, in a way. Well, a bit cracked, but, you know, it hasn't completely collapsed. Right, sorry if you can hear, like, a buzzing sound. It's just, I'm um, getting a lot of messages on my phone. I'm just in, like, a group chat on messenger and yeah like everybody is like texting each other at once yeah so I think I'm near vault 108 I think it's this location right in front of me just like to the south a bit yeah I wasn't sure if that noticed me yeah I normally tend to kill these enemies because I normally carry meat on them and yeah it kind of like adds a bit of damage if you like eat the meat yeah I think it's like 10% extra damage right here we are the gateways to hell 